think. There you go, folks. We are live. Yes, folks. <gasps> welcome, welcome, welcome. The workbench Hello. live. And as you may have noticed, there's three of us tonight, folks. Three of us. There's oh. myself, uh, Festa. That's Festa 67's workshop. We got the GNU next to me. Hello. And we've got royalty in down here, folks. <gasps> Look at this. The governor. The skipper hey. of the Tedwood is in. Hang on, hang on a minute. I'll turn, I'll turn this on. Yeah, and th these guys said that. Well, I noticed that on a on a Wednesday they do some Warhammer stuff. So yeah. I dragged this off the shelf. Yeah. Got that. <laughs> yeah, you forgot that Ted did a bone blade, didn't you? Yeah, yeah everyone yeah. had forgotten. Yeah, I know. Ted did a Warhammer <laughs> thing. And he did lights yeah. and everything. Exactly. <laughs> I'll turn the lights out. Uh, yeah, there you go, folks. Look at that. Have you a bit <laughs> of that? How cool is that? Fox is in bits now. He's having he's having kittens, bless him. Anything with a bait blade is good, baby. Yeah. So you could do this. You could light yours up, Fox. No, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> such Get it such lit. dark magic. Yeah. yeah. Witchcraft and Tom Foolery. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a quick looky kids who's in the chat before we all get mm -hmm. blabbering on. Uh, first up, you got crafted with Jacqueline saying good evening, gents. Hello, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. How you doing, darling? Hello. You got the guru in saying good all evening, one and all, and saying hello to Jackie. Uh, we got Peaches in saying good evening. Hello, Peaches. How you doing? Cheers. Uh, be self in saying hello to everyone. LWM is it, says evening fellas. Hello, mate. How Hello. you doing? He says, I am old because I remember this countdown from schools. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah. We are men yeah. of a certain era, mate. Gen X. Mate. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Peachy says it makes him feel old as well. Um, our very own model making Carl Sagan is in. Says hi, Festa Fox, LWM, Paul, Jacqueline, and all in chat. Yeah. I stress that the universe is made mostly of nothing and that something is the exception. Exactly that. Yeah. Uh, Sprue and Glue's in, says I. Colin Fox Hello. and said, Hello, David. How you doing, mate? Hello. Jeff says I had to Ted words. Uh, Jackie says I had to Jeff. LWN says, If I'd known there was royalty coming in, I would have put on the clean pants. I'm lucky I put on my skipper Ted pants, so I'm so proud of myself. Um, yep. Pants? Uh, oh. Yeah. What it is, what it is <laughs> we, we realised that Monday night was sort of cancelled at last notice. Uh, short notice so i thought yeah. i'd make i'd make it up to you and yeah. come and join in on a wednesday night yeah. make make it feel like the team was all apparently mm -hmm. due to technical issues but i was basically unwell and fox was at the hospital so no technical yeah. issues with my computer so uh, and, and I, I yeah and i was drunk yeah, yeah but, Tim, Tim was just on the floor yeah. it, you know? so uh, yeah. yeah for those that reached out and asked whether my broadband had gone down no it wasn't I was uh, stuck upstairs in bed Bobbin says ooh bonus Teddage exactly mm, yeah. exactly there you go so yes folks what am I up to I'm carrying on with my little vignette thing with all me figures I've got to be doing me butchers today and giving them a bit of a paint as well as decaling me barrels for Bob Hoskins and his mate there, so I've got to be doing a bit of that. What are you both up to? Uh, today, Matthew, I shall be starting to paint my Lord Croak. If you remember last time, I got it all <laughs> built and I've primed it now in Mechanica Standard Grey. So and I need you. to start painting it all now. So tonight I'll be mostly starting on the stonework around the rings and the throne. And then if I get enough time, I'll start on the jade. I won't yeah. be doing anything on Lord Croak just yet. Happy days. I, uh, as for me, what I thought i'd do i would drag the bane blade off the shelf dust it down because it was about an inch thick in dust and then make it mucky again by doing some weathering He's gonna, good, i was going to use i'm going to use some of this tonight so this uh, ultimate wash uh, oh, right, this, is yeah. the, this is the mud wash but it works brilliantly already because i put some on about oh uh, half an hour ago yeah. and it's all drying off on this side so we'll work through this tonight. I'll show you how to do that. But the, the digger from the Monday night show, I've yeah. done a similar sort of thing. But this is in concrete. Oh, nice one. Yeah, yeah. I've got that yeah. concrete wash. It looks good, mate. Yeah, that it's good. good. It, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. And it's still all need to tidy up. But yeah, yeah. well, 
I'll we'll mutter along and we'll work it out. And you can I've slap got, it on and fluff I've it, don't you? Yeah, Happy I've days. Some, uh, Kipper's in the chat. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Evening, Kipper. Uh, James is in, says evening. Colin Fox and Ted yeah. all in chat. Hello, James. How you doing? Love to you, Alicia and Shania. And yes, yeah. folks. I've got my decal water just next door to me oh. there in its little cup eater in case you're wondering Ooh. why I keep going off to be left. I keep meaning to get one of them. Just so that I can warm me water up because, yeah. <clears throat> ah, so, good mm. evening to everybody. And if anybody's here from, uh, well, anybody here on a Wednesday that isn't on a Monday, nice to meet you. Yeah, yes. exactly. Mm. Also, we got any coach parties from Wigan? <laughs> It's nice to have you in, Ted. Like I said, there's always a spot for you if you want it, mate. Yeah. I just press that bit. So now, uh, and just before it is, anybody asks, I wasn't driving that ship. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, Ted was not in uh, Baltimore at all, was no, it? I, I, I was nowhere near. I was, uh, yeah, I was somewhere yeah. else at the time. Honest. Ted did not press a button in the Dali. Yeah. Yeah. What if I turn this off? What happens? Yeah. Clunk. Yeah. Ted's there going. So there's a big red button there. There's a big red button that says "Do not press." Yeah. Oh, it, it, what did I do? <laughs> there you go. Uh, you press buttons and look. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. It's the way forward, Ted. You know it. Yeah, it's one of them, wasn't it? Surprising, it like you say, uh, how that happened. But... Mm. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? Yeah, I was quite shocked how quick the bridge came down. It's like, ping, ping, done. It's, it's like, done wow. out of effect, isn't it, at the end of the day? Yeah. Yeah, it's the way it's like... constructed, isn't it? Apparently, uh, yeah. one part holds an X part up and uh, yeah. an X part. Yeah next part holds a previous part open. yeah <clears throat> and so. oh yeah just goes to show you though doesn't it yeah. I always remember the old footage of Galloping Gertie do you remember the one that oscillated in oh, the wind the, and um, came down yeah the silver thing bridge whatever it's called yeah yeah we got a show we got a show in school quite regularly I don't quite know why yeah. Well, we had it with the Millennium Bridge, didn't we, in London? That, that, oh, yeah. that, was, that was... picked up a vibration off of people walking across it, didn't it? Mm. That was a that was a masterclass in derpy design. Uh, yeah, it was proper oscillations, wasn't it, going on there? Mm. Ooh, that's big. I like that word. That's big, wasn't it? You're proud of me, yeah. aren't you? I can tell. I am. I am. I'm putting a commendation in now to the to the international thing of something. Yeah. Let's him. Right. So I might as well decal these bad boys and get that all started. And then we can get on and do a bit of painty painty. Yeah, I've just got this weathering wash and I, I was never enamored with it because I used to, because I wasn't doing it right. Yeah. Mm. You just gotta slap it on. Slap it and on leave, and then leave it. Yeah. And you leave it till it dries. Oh, and, and then I suppose you brush away the excess and it leaves a, a powdery residue, does it? Yeah, you brush away. Mm. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. We'll, yeah. Yeah, we'll put, yeah, we'll put all this Lee on. Lee Eagles we'll, is in we'll saying hi. Off. Hello, Lee. How you doing, Hello, Lee. mate? <clears throat> yeah. Hello, yeah, it's a bit, It's a bit like using enamel products, but you use the water instead of the... Uh, Bobbin says, can we get a little factoid, please? He says, it's been a while. I'll load a factoid up, mate, in a minute. I don't mind. Hmm. Yeah. Factoids for Alice. Yeah, yes, the first time I used those washes, I, I, I didn't get on with them again because I've been used to using other stuff, but I tried them a year or two later after I'd done enamels and stuff, and it's like, actually, no, they're quite good. Now I know what I'm doing with them. That's the key. Exactly. Where does that go? That goes round the back. Uh, let's go to that. I didn't <coughs> honestly think people would miss the fact. Or it, it's not been a deliberate mm. thing. It's just forgot. Yeah. I kind of got carried away doing the other stuff we're doing, the painting and stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. 
Uh, Steve says, good evening all. Who let Ted out? Yeah. Uh, Scale Modern Chaos says, I thought Uncle Albert was steering the boat. Ah, <laughs> yeah. And, and LWM says, that's there. No claims gone out. But it's not the first time that boat that boat's hit anything. They crashed into an entire, like, dock a couple of years, a few years ago. Apparently. That's some alert thing. Uh, Keith is in. So good evening, guys, and everyone in chat. Hey, Keith. Right, let's uh, have a look, Ekins. Well, that's that's all there is to it on that side. Right, Bobbins, you asked, and I'm going to deliver, mate. So, uh, on this very day in 1998, uh, Sildon Phil Sire, Sire Ray, marketed as Viagra, <laughs> was approved by the US Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> Uh, it was the first oral pill to uh, treat impotence of dysfunction. dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, there we go, done. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll come back next week. This is, this is what we miss. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder why you wonder why people miss the factoids. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, <laughs> a, a dysfunction <laughs> <laughs> affecting many, millions of men in the US. Yeah, um, you, yeah. Did you miss the factoid? Did you? I need to I bring the buttons the in the factoids as well. That's on the other profile. <laughs> but uh, births, births. Uh, shall we do the births? Can't go wrong with mm. births, can we? Wilhelm yeah. Rondton. Uh, was a German physicist who discovered an highly penetrating form of radiation that become known as X-rays on this day in 1895. Ah. He received the first Nobel Prize for Physics in 1901 in recognition of the ordinary services he rendered by the discovery of these remarkable rays. Oh. I, see, I seem to re recall X-ray was discovered by by accident. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I, yeah, it was. I think it was somebody left a plate there with a ring on it, yeah. a finger ring, and it got exposed overnight or something. Uh, we got a bloke here called Carl Wilhelm von Nageli with a <laughs> above the letter A. Ooh, I like He's, a He's a Swiss botanist famous for his work on plant cells. He woke, wrote, woke, he wrote a paper on pollen formation of seed and flower in plants. Uh, we've also got born on this day a French civil engineer who made significant contributions to the graphical representations of data called Charles Joseph Minard. Mm. Oh, God. He wrote a book. Here it goes. Here we go. He's wrote a book here, folks. Called, Stand by. Called the Carty Figurative Dispertis Cessive on Homs de l'Armée Francoise dans la Campagne de Russa, 1812 to 1813. Oh, that was a good <laughs> ball, wasn't it, folks? That was a, that was a, that was a bit of hard work. That was absolutely. So he was born, and last up for the births was another French botanist whose book, The Trait d'Autonomie de Physiologie Ved Vegetale, mm -hmm. called Charles Francois Brissot de Mibel. You go, mm, Mibel. Ring me bell. Yeah, he was bold on this day. Right, I've got some deaths, yeah. folks. I don't know why I went to take me out off, because I ain't wearing <laughs> one. <laughs> Hello. Uh, deaths. Here it goes. Uh, Soviet cosmonaut. Here it goes. Uh, Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin Ooh. died on the 27th of March in 1968 at the age of 34. God, he was young, wasn't he? Bless mm. him. Uh, apparently, he's buried in the Kremlin Wall. There you go. Yeah. Uh, we got a Czech chemist called Jurat Jurarlasov Arasovsky. He received the 1959 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for his, what's that? Discovery and development of the polarographic methods of analysis. Yeah. And last but no means least, we've got. A French well, railway, even engineer, who originated the theoretical principle of the four-stroke internal combustion engine. 
just checking to make sure he didn't write a book, which he didn't. And his name was Alphonse Eugène Bodorocus. There you go, folks. Did you have a sudden moment of doubt there that you might have invented a rotary engine you'd have to read out? <laughs> yeah, I did try you to were... read it, Ed, but it didn't go well there, folks. So I played yeah. bobbins. I think that's it. That's, that's the only bit of engineering fact you remember from school, isn't it? Yes. Who invented the rotary engine. <laughs> yeah. And then there's only one reason you remember yeah. it. So there you go, folks. Hopefully that was worthwhile. <laughs> Always. Always. There you go. There you go. And apologies, it wasn't a deliberate dropping of the factoid. We just got so engrossed with the the format on the Monday and the Wednesday that we kind mm -hmm. of forgot. Yeah. Yeah. But you you guys ask and we make it happen. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, so we're... what? That's the way it works. <clears throat> Uh, Steve says, oh dear, Ted, I got led astray by Fox down the Warhammer rabbit hole. Yay! He, yeah, He's in a better I, place now. It, I, I got this courtesy of Fox and um, Colin, and, you know, the, I said, no, 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 never, no, never, never, never. Yeah. And this arrived. Yeah, yeah some, some spoons. To be honest, bed, it's, been, it's been fantastic. It's a brilliant build. Yeah. And you, as you see, it's been sat on the shelf. For a while but you come back to it and you can always do something else to it yeah um mm. yeah do a bit of weathering and it it just lends itself to it because it's got <laughs> lots of raised details lots of panel lines and you oops you can't see it now <clears throat> it's got lots of panel lines and you mm -hmm. can just do do what you want with it you can big chunky details yeah, you can practice on it. You can paint things. Uh, oh, it's it's really it, it's really fun. But it, as well I say, done it's been, to whoever sent him that. Yeah, yeah, it's been sat on the shelf for ages, and I, I, I've done a little bit of weathering, and I've come back, and tonight I'm doing a bit more. I, you can't really see it on here, but there. And you see the other side. I've just applied that weathering wash mud wash to it and just let it dry yeah leave it and then mm -hmm. comes comes to this side and you can work your way to work away with it and then mm -hmm. as, as I say, i've got some pencils to add as add as well and some oil brushes happy days bobbin says happy thank you it. cheers much it makes his evening there you go mate yeah. Uh, Peachy says, there you go, folks, out of the butch, butcher, seven languages in one go. <clears throat> I try to please, mate. Mm -hmm. Yet my Russian is doing really well, mate. He's, he's a polymath. He can speak terribly in multiple languages. Exactly. <laughs> As can most of us speak terribly in multiple languages. Yeah, I do, do take it to another level, I must admit, but... You take thing is, is I level. convince myself that I'm doing really well, and then you watch it back and you're like, yeah. The funny thing is, the Slavic languages, like, you know, the, the Russian and others, those kind of, you seem to be all right with them. Yeah. So Eastern European and, uh, and Russian, you seem to have a natural affinity for. <clears throat> Whereas the more the more romantic languages, like your Frenches and Spanishes, not so much. Yeah, but don't forget, H does say I'm in emotionless ask. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's probably why romantic language isn't it, isn't it? <laughs> Mind you, though, she did hear me being all, all romantic, didn't she? So Yeah, Fester and I were having a conversation. After hours, after a live stream, and... and <sighs> He was he was singing, singing H's praises, and she was on the other side of the door and could hear every word he said. Yeah. Did that put you deeper in the good books? Oh, yeah. She was feeling all loved up, bless her. <laughs> yeah. The oh, only thing with this clay wash is that when you're brushing it off, you can feel it going up your nose. Oh, really? Uh, up your oh, nose? Dear. Oh, dear. So when you sneeze, you're going to have little bits of UMP wash coming out of your nose. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll look like snuff, won't it? 
Yeah. We're I'll not try- saying we're not saying Ted's old, but when he sneezes, dust comes out. <laughs> Good luck explaining that to Mrs. Ted, mate. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, if, if anybody didn't know this UMP watch, it's um a chalk base, a clay. Yeah. Uh, it's a clay base, so that's what's drying on your model. Yeah. yeah it's just water based, isn't it? Water and clay and stuff. Yeah. But it, it's really quite effective and it's um, mm. It's a no no effort weathering technique. It's very good if you're working with Bandai kits because you can't put any solvents on there as well. Very you've got to be very careful. So mm. water based wash is not going to do any harm to a Bandai kit. <clears throat> ha ba dee dee, ba dee 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 dee. Yes, folks, you can see correctly. I am putting lacquer thinner. <laughs> On a decal, on a barrel, purely because I want mm. the decal to go right into the grain of the barrel. So mm. your eyes are not deceiving you. Nope. But it is such a wafer thin application. Mm. So yeah, it's not going to do any harm to the decal, is it? Uh, no, no, it'll just let it. Um, how can we say? It'll persuade it to conform. Yeah. In tiny amounts. Otherwise, the decals dissolve every time you put lacquer varnish on them. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's just my little trick that I use on things like this. See, we teach people stuff on these streams. But it's like we when I've done to. that decal wrap, wasn't it, on the bubble car. It was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. We try not to teach people stuff, but it just seems to happen. Well, yeah, I've got a dumb reputation to keep going. We've spent many a year, well, you've spent many a year harbouring this and uh, building it out. Yes. It's never you, dear, is it? Here you go. LM, LWM Modelling asks, did I put a sealer on this first? I didn't actually, because it was a matte finish anyway. Yeah. Um, and these clay bases fix better to a matte surface because a matte surface is like more pitted and the grip, that's, that's what's holding the powders and things on. So, no, I didn't seal it first. Um. I actually don't seal a lot of my models because they just sit on the shelf. Yeah. Um, and they're not going to be handled. So when this is finished, I, I probably won't seal it over. I'll just leave it. Yeah. I think sometimes that unsealed look gives it a more natural finish anyway, doesn't it? Because it just dulls yeah. with age. So. Yeah. If you've used like metallic paints and stuff, sometimes they can have just the right level of shine before you varnish them. Yeah. Compared to the matte bits to look like actual metal. Putting a varnish on can ruin it. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. If, I, if I'd have been using a gloss paint on it, if something um, required a gloss, same as the gun, the end of the guns and things, if it was glossy, I would think of mat matting them down first. All right, yeah. But I'm going to leave the, the guns paint. shiny. Retro says, I hope everyone's doing well. I've been in a mood since Monday, so I'm not going to say much. Oh, bless you. Why is that, mate? Come on. Tell us all about it. Got to tell us now. Yeah, come on. You can't mm -hmm. come in here with Wibblekins, mate, and not expect us to ask what it's about. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, I'm not dry, so find somebody else to do. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but like you say, Ted, it's just nice to get back to the bench, mate, isn't it? It is, hmm. yeah. Um, got all sorts of things to do family-wise and things. But let's try some dust and rain marks. Can't beat a bit of dust and rain marks. <clears throat> but, I like the fuel stains as well, working with that stuff. It's oh, yeah. <clears throat> I put some fuel stains on the petrol cap on something once, and I was most disheartened that it looked brilliant, but nobody would ever notice it because <laughs> it was tiny. Yeah, but that's the art. Yeah. We know it's there. Yeah. That's, that's the unfortunate part about actually doing some videoing and weathering at the same time. It doesn't always come across on the video. Yeah. No. Oh, I've done some really nice blend work before that I've been dead chuffed with. And on the webcam, it just doesn't show up. You're like, really? But... 
On the flip side, though, sometimes stuff doesn't show up on camera and it's really good. Yeah. Okay, nobody will see that. That's good. I can... Shh, don't say... Shh. Yeah, one of those pre-weathering boo-boos that we all have. Yeah, a bit of weathering will get over that. <clears throat> it's like sometimes when you uh, do a lot of fantastic weathering and put powders and things on. Yeah. Then you give it a then you give it a coat of matte varnish and it wipes it all away. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's soul destroying that. I swear sometimes I'll give it a quick quick spray with a bit of air spray before I put the pigment down. <clears throat> yeah, it took me a while to learn to put on more pigments than you need. Uh, yeah. Looks really realistic. Psh, oh, it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Matt Varnish. Oh. More. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Yeah, though, mm -hmm. it's... That's where weathering comes into its own at the end of the day. Yep. If you've not given it a go, folks, give it a go. You really does bring out the artist in you, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, clear models are nice, but weathered models, it's even more fun. I enjoy them like, more. All, yeah, all the fun you have building and painting it. Imagine now adding a load of extra fun because you've got the weathering as yeah. well. Even better. I found that as I've got older, I'm beginning to move away from clean builds and I look forward more to the weather inside, you know, because mm. I just, it relaxes me a lot more, to be honest with you, and mm. just makes it unique, doesn't it? Yeah, I find it a lot more free as well. <clears throat> because, because, you've you got know, to you think, you... sometimes think though, when, you, when you're weathering, sometimes less less is more. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the trick. Oh yeah, we could all get to that point, can't you? Where you think you, if you do go to do something else, you're going to overdo it. I always think to myself, if I'm <laughs> asking the question, if is this enough, then that's the time that I stop because I'm already asking the question. So I always end up going far too far in my weather. Yeah. I say, is this enough? Yes, and then I'll do more. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, the minute I get to that stage, could it do with a bit more? It's like, no, I'd just hold it there now. One day I'll learn that lesson. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, you don't always get it right, because, you know, you might look at it a month later and go, really wish I'd just put a little bit on. So, yeah. Mm. Swings and roundabouts, in it? Well, that's the beauty of it, I suppose. If you do too much, it just looks more dirty rather than more yeah. more weathered. It just looks like it's been through a tougher life. I like the freedom weathering gives. Yeah. Uh, clean paint jobs to me, I, I'm no good at them. And they show all my mistakes, whereas weathering, I can just hide everything and have a good time. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I still enjoy the odd clean build, but oh, yeah, once I've got my existing range <clears throat> done, then, yeah, I shall focus more on weathered weathered builds mm. because, for me, I don't have to build as much, but I get more out of it by doing the weathering, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, some stuff just wouldn't work weathered. No. no I could do a weathered motor GP bike because they're always no, spotless. Yeah, or a Formula One car would look stupid if you weathered it. Yeah, but... Yeah, I just think it, like I say, it just challenges you in a different way, doesn't it? Yeah. Just a few different streaks with a pencil on this. Uh, yeah. It, it changes it completely around, yeah. I do like them AK weathering pencils. I think they're brilliant. They really are. Yeah, you fell for them, didn't you? Mm, yeah, I did, mate. Yeah. You I like really them? do like them. Because you can use like them in so many different ways. Yeah. I always... I've got a few. Just drop the one. I've got a few, but I'm always thinking about I might just go for the full set. Uh, yeah, I just got it from E-Models in the end. I thought, well, I had a couple of the boxes, and I thought, might as well just get the set and go for it. Um, yeah. 
I don't know, I love them. I just, yeah, I'm always faffing around with them because they do what they say. Mm -hmm. Does exactly what it says. On tin. I'm getting a bit northern there. On tin. You went, I, I, I happened there, really, yeah. lad. Yeah. You, right. went a bit, you went a bit Derby and Bolton and Berry there, mate. Yeah, you're like that. You're like that. You're like that. <sighs> Buy a cap and see they're eight grand uh, whippets. Uh, Go to the foot of our stairs. I think it's because I was in the zoo with Kipper before I come in and he's proper northern, so yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Kip, Kipper's Kip so northern, even me and Ted struggle to know what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, Kipperisms. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Oops. I don't think I've come across anyone who can do a wibble as good as Kipper. Mm. Yeah, he can have a good wibble. Marcus is close, but... Yeah. A Kipple. Kipper wibble. That's what I did there. Uh, I'm going to regret reading this, but LWM says, finally got my hands on my big boy today, and I did some modelling. Oh, nice one, mate. Good shout. <laughs> I know, I know so... what you meant. Uh, yes. <laughs> LWM says I need to get a couple of scrappers to practice on. Do you know what I started on LWM? I got a couple of the FX starter sets, the uh, Volkswagen yeah. Beetle, and I think an E-Type Jag. Um, yeah. Yeah, what I practiced on, mate. Yeah, little five or ten quid jobs. Perfect for that. <clears throat> Of course, there's Evil Bay. You can get an eBay rescue what has been pre-built and pre-painted. Bang it in debt. I'll just weather it that way. Yeah. There's loads of ways you can do it, mate. Yeah. Right. What have we got going on there? That's the butcher's white. Now let's have a look. He has He's got a slightly grey shirt. Leave that as is. Okay. We've done his greys. Let's do his apron and then his top. <laughs> Beatbox, you say? Never had a thing. It's your imagination. Uh, my imagination is quite potent, clearly. Uh, don't forget, folks, belly bench, beverage and biscuits. Mm -hmm. uh, what's in the belly? What's on the bench? Beverage of choice and biscuits of choice, if you so choose. Mm. Biscuits of no choice. Yeah. For me, it's uh, pie mash and uh, beans tonight for dinner. I've had my mm. cup of tea. Uh, before we came live, I had some beans and sausages. Beans and sausage oh, from a tin. From a tin, yeah. From a good man. Uh, cup of tea, and I've got my orange juice, and I've got some uh, protein bars. Was it official Heinz beans and sausage? Uh, yeah, Heinz beans and sausages, mate. Yeah. It is the way forward. I sat and had a tin of them the other night, cold from the tin. Oh, yeah. If you ever get a chance to try it with a, with a Mattison's Bendy sausage as well. Yeah. They just seem to go together perfectly. So, uh, yeah, I was proud of myself. Should be. So you should be. Absolutely. I am a bit partial to them, I must admit. Mm. And for our Tell situation, it's a quick meal and it's a bit of grazing. So. Oh, yeah. If Heinz could make like tins of ravioli, but make them five times as big so you could get a decent ravioli portion, they'd be all over the Yeah, lap. that'd be even better, yeah. wouldn't it? But yeah, it's. And you get like, they're not as nice cold though as beans and sausage. No. It's like spaghetti oops. I can't eat them cold. I'll eat, I'll eat them warmed up, but not cold. Yeah, I tried the tin spaghetti, like you get it in the short there. It's not quite the same, is it? No. I've not tried spaghetti hoops. Mm, I've got a bit of that going on. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. So this is going to be toast. white. Scott Mullen Kelsey says, belly, chilli, rice and taco shells. Bench, 135th Humby, beverage, lemonade, biscuits. Non got four chocolate creamy clairs. Oh! Oh! Road trip. 
Retro Rabbit says, uh, the unpleasant realisation that things and people around here are getting worse. Had to listen to one of my part suppliers go on about how someone should unalive our political... Oh, yeah, going up politics and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why he's there. A bad day. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's why we avoid dead subjects with the plague. Like yeah. the plague. I am the plague. You're made of plague. I take pride in my plague. <sighs> dee 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 dee. <sighs> dee 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 dee. Uh, <laughs> LWM says, I try to minimise my town around other humans so I don't get punchy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm lucky I'm I'm housebound, so I don't go out into the real yeah. world now, which is probably a good thing. That's a good word. How are you feeling today? Punchy. <laughs> yeah. And you do, you become very intolerant of people. Mm-hmm. Have you found that as you're getting older, that you, yep. you, you, you go off people? Yep. I go more and more off my own species. Yeah. Then someone sends me a TikTok video and I just have to burn the place down. <laughs> because I say, you're not my friend anymore. Portrait. Well, just any any TikTok video. <laughs> because it means they're actually activate actually using TikTok and I just I just denounce them at that point. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think TikTok was still a thing. I thought it was getting banned <laughs> everywhere, but or is that a rumor? Uh, uh, they're, they're trying to ban it in the US or they want to ban it, but whether it will, who knows. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I can honestly say I've never seen any of it. Ah. The if, you've ever, if you've ever clicked it. on a video on Facebook, Ted, and it's one of those things, the captions right in the middle of the screen for some dumb reason. That's usually a TikTok video reposted. <laughs> yeah. You've almost got a subtitle for every single word spoken individually. And they're yeah. right in the middle of the screen. It's like, why, why did you put it in the middle? This bed? Here, look at this thing. I can't because your subtitle's covering it up, you schmuck. What? I don't understand young people. I'm getting old. God damn it. I remember when this was all fields. The thing with you, Fox, is people don't film your way, then it's never good enough. No, I don't say that. It's just I don't understand the TikTok thing. It's just... Don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I watched one the other day and it was like, it was like, look at this thing, whatever it was. I can't remember. It's like, it's like imagine I saw someone say, hey, look at this, and it'd be like a little video of the thing I was talking about. Um, and it was that, but there was all so many like, emoji stickers stuck over it and other little bits of memes cut in. I was like, I've no idea what I'm supposed to be looking at now. <laughs> I don't understand what, what you're actually telling me to look at because you've given me a thousand things to look at and I'm old and it scares me now. You went full blown you went full blown tilt, didn't you? Yeah, I'm like what clunk. Yeah, I often wonder sometimes it's like oh, yeah, really. Yeah. Yes. Look at this thing. Which one of the 350 things on screen at any one time do you want me to look at? Reality TV shows. It's like, oh, my uh, God. Uh, That's where I get lost. It's like, oh, really? That's where I just leave the room. Uh, yeah. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. But hey-ho, you know, I suppose there's something for everyone, isn't there? Yeah. I think somebody enjoys all that nonsense. Yeah, normally the people that read gossip magazines. Uh, and, and like soap magazines. I don't understand magazines purely about soaps. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> it's like, that's make like, you wonder, doesn't it? It's like gossip magazines. Okay, you know, celebrity type magazines, uh, if I must. Soap magazines? Ah. Uh. When you're at the hospital in the waiting rooms and you just see this table full of stuff and you're like oh my god people uh, read this oh my god i had a classic at the hospital on uh, on monday sat there in the in the reception area waiting for a for a specialist yeah 
And there's a group of group of young people, young people. Oh dear! Uh, sat in the waiting room, all with like watching videos on the mobile phone. They're all together with each other. It's like a group of kids. Like, I know kids, this because he sent me a picture. Yeah, <laughs> like in their early twenties, right? And they're all with each other, so they're all mates. Yeah. And they're all together, but they're all watching completely different videos on the mobiles at the same time. But they're holding yeah. them like that and listening to him at full volume. I'm like, I don't. I've seen two people on a bus before send each other a text and they sat next to each other. Yeah. But really, why? My missus, yeah. she plays Tell the me. game. She <clears throat> tries to match the person that's just walked in to what magazine they're going to pick up off of the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no. And it is an art. Sorry, Ted, you was about to say something there, mate. Yeah, the... the those that send each other a text on the bus are usually saying, "Have you seen him sat behind you?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're talking about some somebody there that's being yeah. suspicious, aren't they? Yeah, probably us. Yeah, yeah, that bloke looks like Uncle Fester. Correct. That bloke's looking at you. All funny. Yeah. <laughs> Let me send you a TikTok about it with five hundred animated gifs. <laughs> As that in, in, infamous conversation once went, perhaps it's because we're by the celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You know the conversation I mean. Yes. That was a real get over yourself moment. That, that one. was one of those that we've never forgotten moments, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, bless. <laughs> huh. I can't believe I actually genuinely once found myself saying, I remember when this was all fields. Really? Because uh, we, I was looking at housing estate and somebody said, something and I said, because it was where field where I used to play as a kid. And I said, I remember when this was all fields. And then I instantly felt regret and, and despair at the same time. It's funny, when we first moved down here, a lot of what's behind us now was fields and it's all houses. Mm. Yep. It is surprising now, this little market town, it's suddenly become a mini London. It's. Shocking, really. Mm. Probably because you're a minor celebrity and nobody's followed you. Well, it is, mate. <laughs> that still gives me the giggles, <laughs> that must. Yeah. Every now and then I recount the sincerity that the individual said it with, and I'm like, oh, yes. bless. For those wondering, we don't think that. That's something that somebody once Someone said. Someone did say it, and it was yeah, like... we were like, get over yourself. Yeah, they kind of thought that they was going to get asked to do openings of buildings and things like that that they would get recognized at their local shopping place and because they had like you know 300 subscribers on youtube yeah it's like really okay uh, no uh, yeah and we're like what on <laughs> earth makes you think that well we are kind of minor celebrities <laughs> much coffee was spat across the bench that yeah. night yeah like, wait, which reality are you in? I'm in a different timeline to you, clearly. And we're all looking and we're going, You are. They actually believe what they've just said. Oh dear. Yeah. They're not joking. Okay. Yeah, I only was 90% of his subs were actually just spam subs anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or purchased. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see that my dance? <laughs> oh, I'm sinking. <laughs> we are guilty of doing lots of in jokes that nobody will ever understand also doing things off camera brilliant fox well done ted you're very quiet there have you found the gin again yeah uh, sorry sorry i'm uh no you carry on mate you don't you don't uh, yeah, have to perform I, on here mate you just do what you no, want to do ted it's a case of you just you just get into you you start doing this and you just get into a zone don't you yeah yeah what I need to know is, is your tongue hanging out as you're painting? It is, isn't it? Oh, it has to, yeah, it's, it has to be. Yeah. Uh, you can't do it correctly unless your tongue's hanging out. People don't realise this, but when you start doing model making, it becomes a legal contractual requirement. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's nice to become... have you on, Ted, and it's nice to see you at the bench, mate. Yep. Yeah. I have been at the bench. I, um, I did, 
Yeah, I showed you the the digger. Uh, uh, yeah. I'd come, up, I'd come up now and again and He's been do out a little bench, bit as time there allows. Many bars. But uh, I've been thinking about what you've been saying, Colin, and um, I've been having a go at different setups um, with a camera or with the phone. So uh, yeah, yeah. When we when we do a, a Monday night, yeah. um, and we're back to the bench on a Monday night, I could actually do yeah, some I'm, Titanic building. I'm filming at the moment, mate. I'm filming at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I've got me me arch as normal, and there's what I'm filming. There you go. There's the figure yeah. that I've been painting. So, yeah, just works a treat, mate. Mhm. Mm yeah, it, it's it's been sort of getting it, working out a setup, and getting rid of all the rubbish on my phone. Ah, uh, yeah. So it, it um, gives me some sort of. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a spare phone. This is my old iPhone that I'm using. My existing one, that's my main one, is here. But the one above is the one I upgraded from, and all it ever does is record footage. And then I wipe it straight off the phone, import it on the computer, and it's ready to go for the next session. So Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, today got... I did a load of videos for Fan Home. Uh, mm -hmm. Part work stuff, so I sat and filmed all that to Sarvo. So all that footage was done. Yep. People often, you know, think when they're doing like videos and stuff that they need expensive cameras. And don't get me wrong, if you can, if you can have lots of proper expensive cameras, it's brilliant. But if you're really stuck, but yeah, and you, but you've got a modern smartphone, you've got a perfectly fine camera on your smartphone. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. 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 There's nothing wrong with it. I started. I started filming on my iPhone four. Way back. Uh. Now I've got uh, an SE twenty twenty. I don't I don't use my everyday mobile phone as the camera. The one thing I would say is if you can have a different phone because it will kill your battery. What I just Life. said, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah your battery won't last as long. Let's do Valkyrie's fate. Mm -hmm. But no, my first video that I put up on YouTube was done with a GoPro that I had around my head. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it was like, yeah, need to move away from this idea. But then I had an old camcorder that I had spare. Yep. Then as soon as I upgraded my iPhone, I'm like, what's well, a 1080p camera? Try that. And that was it. Uh, mm. Every time I've upgraded my phone, that's been my next camera. Uh, yep. This one's just permanently sat on this arch because the arch, the only time the arch comes off the bench is when I've got my spray booth on. Uh -huh. Yeah. It just sits on that. <clears throat> it's quite ironic that my everyday phone that literally just gets used for like text messages and the yeah. occasional phone call actually has a far better camera than my filming camera, but the filming camera is good enough. Because yeah. I am literally filming underneath the they are. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Let's order a new phone. Mine's dying. <coughs> Habadi buddy buddy buddy. Now, right. So he's got his shoes done. Shoes. Colour of their shoes, they're brown on them. Talking about the brown shoes. Uh, scale modelling uh, chaos makes a comment about uh, all the green fields being turned over the housing. Yeah, it's the, it's the same around us because we've got this um, new order for submarines in the shipyard. Um, oh right, uh, yeah. Building building submarines for Australia and things like that. So they're hoping to recruit. Lots, 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 lots more people mm. building these houses, but they don't improve the road structure to no. and from them. So all you're doing is just in building traffic chaos for folks getting to and from work. Pretty much, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They just deflected the issue elsewhere, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Right. Right, let's have a little bit of that for his handle. A little bit of that. I think what I really need now for this, I would have just done, could have done with a green streaking pencil, you know, for... Oh, right, yeah, of, for the moss and uh, verdigris, yeah. Bit of algae. Yeah. yeah. That's just what's missing. That might, that might come next time I get this out. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a few, just a few rain marks. All if it needs, have, Ted, isn't it? Yeah. If, that's if they have rain in 40k planets. And, oh, um, yeah, of course it is. Everywhere has rain. It's the grimmest and darkest of grim dark. I do have graphite, gold metal graphite and dark aluminium that we could do some worn metal bits. Don't look minted. Mm. People have said to me before, is there a specific way to do like weathering a warhammer? It's like, no, if it's a tank, just weather it like a tank. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a model kit, like any other model kit. Go for it. Like I said, that's what a lot of people tend to do. They tend to overthink it. Hmm. Like, don't overthink it, just do it. Get on with it. It will be fine. Just dive in. Dive in feet first. Oh. Sort it out later. I forgot there was the engine in there. Uh, what I shall do now is a very delicate sanding stick. <sighs> While I was very handily dry brushing all that um, iron rack skin, I managed to get a bit thumbprints all over the grey bits of that oh, paint because it got your thumb. So I'll just it's smooth nice. that down, sand it away. And away. There we go. No biggie. It'll be fine. You'll get there. You'll get there. Oh, yeah. It's the downside of these pots. You get painty thumbs. Clean that off. Clean my thumb. Oh, God. Yeah, let's have a look at chat while I'm doing that. Uh, uh, Stefan Last is in. Hello, hey, Stefan. Stefan. How are you doing, my friend? He says he's slowly getting better each day. Big hugs to you, Stefan. Yeah, uh, Steve uh, says I've got the crayons out. Yep. Uh, Steve says, TV is so bad, I tend to spend a lot of time browsing through YouTube or Twitch. Yeah. And LBM says, weren't the Flying Pickets minor celebrities? I'll see what he did there. Minor. Minor. <laughs> I've not moved past 1080p on any camera. No point. Not everyone has 4K monitors. I still film at 1080p. Yeah. Um, I could film in 4K, but... Have you ever tried editing 4K? Yeah. In... Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, right, you know. God, your computer, computer would break. Well, it, it wouldn't really break, but it would just take, like, forever to render a video down. It's like, but given the fact that most people watch on a mobile device anyway, it's like... It's... You always say it breaks when you do a live stream. Well, it, it screams a lot and the fan goes full whack because it's a bit well, overloading well, the well, CPU, but... Well, there you are. Let's do a quick poll for the people in chat. Who's watching on a phone? Who's watching on a monitor? And who's watching on a TV? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> How are you watching us? Yeah. Because yeah. I've I've often I mean the way I see it is if I'm if I'm doing like a painting video, yeah, you can see what I'm doing at 1080p perfectly. You don't need 4K to see a brush painted a thing. It's like it's it's good enough. You know, I watch my own stuff back on my 4K TV and it's like, yeah, it's fine, it's great. If I'm doing a video game, 
and I could stream in 4K. I'd probably stream that in 4K because it's the game might be in 4K. So, but for painting videos, it's plus. Believe it or not, there are still some people out there that have really bad broadband and struggle with 4K, even in these day and age. So, just I leave it at 1080p. I'll Everybody probably can think, access it there. Yeah, I'll probably think that most people, if they're tuning in to watch like a live show, um, because they're chatting, they might log into a PC yeah. and have the chat up as well. Live, live, live streams are a bit different. With live streams, if you if you stream at fourteen forty p on YouTube, you get the better quality encoding. Yeah. So everything looks better. So I tend to stream with fourteen forty p. But yeah, that's why we uh, go out in forty and forty p on this because yeah. Much you get the better encoders. Uh, Bob brings his watch on a tablet. Yep. Uh, I used to stream my games in 1080p, and it's like they look so bad. Like you just move the camera at all a little bit, and the whole thing just turns into like pixel monsters. So as soon as I realised I could stream 1440p. I'm off camera, but I'm just cleaning out some paint from a groove. Yeah, gone, gone are the days when you measure resolution in lines. Yeah. <laughs> dee 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 dee. It's all changed, isn't it? That's... Mm -hmm. uh, Steve, Steve watching on a TV and chatting on a tablet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm chatting. I've got chat on a tablet. Stefan last watching in bed. Yeah. Yeah. But really, when it comes to filming for me, for 1080p is just more convenient because it's smaller, faster yeah. to edit and render. <clears throat> Takes me about half an hour to render a <clears throat> 50 minute video. So four times that if it was 4K. Just looking on my yeah, let's just looking on my monitor to what I can see in front of me, and there is a difference between the monitor and here quite yeah. a bit. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's it's not a it's mm -hmm. not a four K monitor. I heard a surprising statistic the other day relating to PC gamers that actually the most common resolution for pc gaming is actually 1080p yeah because um, it means people can put on all the bells and whistles without having to worry too much about not being able to run the game yeah. <clears throat> all right what are we doing next retro says um yeah it was on 1440 youtube was stuck on 1080 yeah <coughs> so much better you could see all the detail Good. I'm glad somebody could see the detail. Oh, all the details. So many details. Details. <laughs> it had to be done. Right. Yeah, it's the Shading one thing time. we was determined to do, wasn't it? When we did the upgrade was stream out in higher res <coughs> just to yeah. give people a bit better because yeah. 1440 is more than enough for what we do. Yeah, I mean, if if my if my broadband could cope with 4K and my computer, then I, there's no reason why I couldn't stream at 4K. But no. then yeah, people who've got 4K they have the option, but it doesn't really make a difference <coughs> to the content. I suppose that's half the problem, isn't it? You can get as much good stuff as you want to record or whatever, but it then comes down to your broadband to put it uh, on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ethonian camo shade. I could if I wanted to, because my broadband, I'm quite lucky, it is a good broadband. Yeah, you've, got, so. you've got massive fat broadband, haven't you? Yeah. But... Yeah, mine's, mine's only about 16 meg upload, so I can do 1440p just about. All right, but I can't do 4K. Yeah. Streaming, I mean. Yeah, it's one of them. I could if I wanted mm -hmm. to, but... Mm -hmm. 
I don't really see the benefit. No, not like I said, not not to not to like stuff like this. So if you're doing gaming streams, then yeah, because you want to. Oh yeah, share sure. The gaming the... content would probably go out 4K. Yeah, because but... you want to you want to share the awesome graphics and stuff and that. But... Yeah, I need to improve the gaming first. Uh, right, I'm going to use. Not tried this before. The Godhand Deluxe Decker Filbert M. I love the word Filbert. I'm going to use it as a wash brush. Oh, I'm so proud of you. It's got fatness and also round and earthy. Good brush, mate. Good brush. It's got a transparent handle, which yeah. reminds me of dice. I don't know why. Yeah, there's a good brush. It's but, but most importantly, it includes the word Filbert. In the voice of Carl Sagan. Filbert. The Earth is the filbert of the universe. Rounded at one end and sticky pointy on the other. Just had a thought. I think what might look good on here to go with the rain and dust washes. If I put some concrete wash, put some more concrete wash on the top. Yeah. And it, that'll go into all the, the panel lines. Yeah, yes. that's what you mean. <clears throat> the one thing that frustrates me on the bone blade is the tracks because on a normal on a normal tank track you can get gunk and, and dirt into all the little recesses but you have the metal bit sticking out over the top yeah but on the bone blade like 90 percent of the track is the is the surface that's all metal so it's like oh it's almost like a flat plate it's like oh yeah. really you can't quite get oh can't, can't get that as easily there's a microphone there mate yes i know i just knocked it with my brush <laughs> Put that there. You microphone, go over there. Stay away from things. Right. No, I don't know whether this will dry in time for folks to see. Uh, oh, I could, yeah. I could come back next. I could come back next week if you're yeah, happy. Exactly. No, you're more than yeah. welcome. Said you before, mate. Mm -hmm. There's always a room for you. You're most welcome, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> Ted gets instant access everywhere. Absolutely. It's how Ted do. Has an open invite. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's been warned about the open. He's warned about that, but he, he pulls it off. <laughs> didn't really work, did it? Not really, mate. Nah. It was worth a try. <clears throat> and that's the beauty of these little at the bed shows. You can just sit here and get so much done. Yep. Yeah. Fettle and potter. Exactly. <clears throat> I remember when we started, I put the uh, the mud wash on here. It's all dried now. Oh, nice one, mate. Look at that. Oh, nice. Right. So all you need to do now is just clean it up. Yeah. It looks. You could leave it like that, but I think I think we can make it dusty. Yeah. Like like that side. Yeah. <clears throat> Looking good, mate. Looking well so, good. Cotton bud and a drop of water and just work away at it. You can work it until it meets your requirement, mate. Work it, baby. Yeah, I had to <clears throat> really think about how I worded it. Work it like you mean it. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't I've even know got what that no means. idea what you're on about, mate. I really haven't. <laughs> Bless you. Work it like one of your French bane blades. Blame blade. Mm, okay. Blame blades. I know. I know. <laughs> I'll put my teeth in tonight. It could be worse. I can't really say anything, can I? You know what I mean? Factoid. Mm. 
Well, you, you, yes, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Went well, didn't it? It's what we like. It's been a while. It has. And Bobbins is happy, and that's the key for me. That's all that matters. That's all that mattered. As long as mm -hmm. we got an happy viewer. See? They ask, we deliver. Happy days. It's quite tricky to get to. So he's got a bit of a, a lighter coloured shirt there, so... Oh. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So I'll have a bit of that. A little bit of that. Camera's, camera's wobbling a bit. He's got blue trousers and a green apron. Right. What's up, Ted? What are you wobbling? Well, wob wobbly come. I right, roll with that, mate. Right, we can pretend we're at sea. Go for that bridge. Too soon? Uh -oh. <laughs> I see what he did there. Right. So you've got the old blue trousers on, so we might as well base them. Blue trousers, what's that? <laughs> Steady now. I worry about you. We really need to get you out more, don't we? I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, let's put him on a clip. There you go. Again. Oh, the dry brushing to do on these once they're uh, their layers on. <coughs> la, 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 la. Again, these little figures are just fun to do, aren't they? It's just. Yeah. Are they the mini art ones? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the mini art ones are great. They really are nice sculpts, Ted. They really are, mate. Yeah. Mm. They're brilliant for just the funny little subjects as well they're not just always like you know infantrymen or whatever it's just like exactly you know like it's... carrying half a pig in 1943 okay, just cool. brings the story alive a little bit for me because i've got mm. a couple of the vehicles going on here so you might as well have the crews doing the rounds and just have a little market scene so why not it makes it, it makes sense that they do them because you know going back 10 15 years if you wanted those kind of figures, you'd be looking at getting the old Verlinden resin figures. They don't exist anymore. You can't, they don't make that, them anymore. That's right. But they were like 25 quid a pop, and it was like man with dog or something like that. Or, that was you know. it, yeah. But And they were resin and everything else. But, you know, they, they don't exist anymore. So at least someone's catering to the market of just almost like film set extras, isn't it? It's just like yeah. just people in the background, diorama furniture. Yeah, and you don't, you know, you don't need to go mad, mad with them. You just paint them up, base them, a little mm. bit of dry brushing, done. And they would actually work as just figures in their own right as well. Uh, yeah. Just as you stick them on a vignette and done. There you go. Happy times. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of looking forward to the next time I do a 135th build of some sort, because I've painted miniatures, like, you know, miniature scale figures, and those were the first real figures I painted, but I've never, I've not yet painted a 135th scale person. Oh, you fancy doing 135th figures now, do you? Well, I've kind of learned how to paint miniatures, and I thought I'd be interested to try and get those skills and see if it works on a 135th. I know it wouldn't work on like a 124th because they're too big then for that kind of paint style. But yeah, you did feel... that with the, um, what's his name, didn't you? The, yeah, um... Deathcore dude. Deathcore, and you kind of fell out of love doing it, didn't you? Because it was yeah. larger than your preferred scale, so. Well, it was it was larger than it was it was the wrong sort of size for the techniques I was using. So that one, I'll strip it down. And I'll try I'll try something else with that. Oils might be the way forward with that one because it's it's almost like one tenth scale, isn't it? Something I think. Oh uh, yeah, one tenth. Yeah. Which. On a miniature, when you're painting, you, you you paint in high contrast and simple paint strokes because it's standing out on a you know from a distance. But on a big figure like that, you can't really do that. Uh, no, you've got to do the blends, the blends, and all the blends. But we learn by doing. Absolutely, it's worth giving it a go, so I could find out. 
the end of the day, you had to go. Mm. But yeah, 135th is kind of on the cusp of whether you get away with that or not, so it'd be worth trying that. As I've said to you before, you can't be a guru at everything, dear. I'm a guru at nothing. <laughs> Warhammer versus Dungeons and Dragons discuss. Beats me. Oh, I, have, I haven't a clue where I wouldn't have a clue. Somebody somebody sent me some D D figures once and they were tiny. I'm like, oh dear god, I can't paint that. <clears throat> like they were they were like the normal figures were like so small. I'm like, oh dear lord. That's the smallest thing I've ever seen. Are they a bit like those bolt out, bolt action figures? Um, um, bolt action are very similar to Warhammer, but just they're realistically proportioned. They're one, uh, the twenty eight millimeter, which is about one fifty third scale, or thereabouts. Um, but Warhammer's uh, Warhammer is kind of not quite realistic proportions; it's heroic scale. Yeah, I think bolt action is like if it's a human, it's a human proportions, but in that twenty eight millimeter. Uh, but D&D &D was like, they were just... It's they a, they? Yeah, it's like a model of an archer, and it's like, that's about as big as like a, a rice. Yeah, Vince can't sent that. me a couple of uh, over because he wanted to teach me how to play D&D. &D. Mm. And sent me over a couple of figures, and it was like, oh, my God, they're tiny. Yeah. I mean, I struggled painting um, Adeptus Sororitas, you know, the, the Sister of Silence, which is Warhammer Kit, and it's like, that's a normal sort of human female size. Yeah. I struggled painting that, it was so small, so D and D I'd be no chance for a figure. Yeah, but it's different things, isn't it? It's different genres, different niches and Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I say it's just another interest. I will get round to doing it because you know it was a gift. So it's just a model, like every other. Exactly. So yeah, the microscope will be out in force for that bad boy. I need a telescope for mine. So, uh, yeah. Hello, is that the, is that is that James Webb? Can I book some time? Uh, yeah, I've got a D and D archer to paint. <laughs> oh yeah, we know that one. Yeah, yeah. You won't be the first. Well, that that concrete wash dried dried quicker than I thought. And really? It didn't. It didn't mm. work. As you can see, it didn't work. Oh. So, but uh, that's the advantage of them washes. You could just take a white Q-tip. Uh, uh, yeah, cotton just get rid. Yeah. Just yep. take it all off. Not everything we try is going to work first time, is it? No. I'm not, Maybe yeah, there's I, a specific, there's like a, a certain technique with the light coloured ones or something. That, yeah. I compared to I'll, the earth coloured ones, I'll, I don't know. I'll do it again, but I think I'll do it in a bit darker. Yeah. Hmm. Oh bless you! I'm sure it'll but, come good. Yeah, not the not the rust because I think that I need to to lighten it up as it goes up, like dark on the bottom, yeah, and lighter on the top. I remember Otherwise, the first time I tried to track wash. I had I had in my mind exactly what it was supposed to look like from watching other people do it. Right. When I did it, it was like, okay, my track's now brown. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> it's brown. Doesn't, that's not rust. That's just brown. Yeah, I thought, and I thought to myself, there's clearly a knack to this that I haven't figured out yet. I have got some dust, um, humbral dust. Dust. That's, that's brilliant. Apply that, it's, a, it's an enamel wash. Apply that with an airbrush, yeah. very, very lightly, and you get a fantastic dust effect with it. Oh, right, yeah. That's a bit like, um, I use the uh engine grime enamel uh wash weathering wash i airbrushed it on onto a onto a white thing and i wanted that effect you know like you, you see the back of a white transit van and it's got all the grime but then there's like somebody's written clean me in the dirt yeah yeah i got i got that effect by just spraying it lightly over the panel and then while it was just it after about 15 20 minutes when i had a chance to cure a little bit i just got a very very small I got one of them little pointy cotton buds that was ever so slightly moistened in thinner and just wrote clean me. 
And of course, it just removes it, and you get the white coming out. It's like it just looked like that kind of thing where somebody's written on the back of a dirty trouser. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what that, that that's what that track wash would do. If you do it with, if you give it a, from a distance, it really just gives that um, coating. You, you you couldn't you could never achieve it with a brush. No, no. You have, you have to do it with an airbrush. <clears throat> Like I say though, Ted, you can keep going at it until it suits you, can't you? Yeah, yeah that's it. You can take this stuff off. Like it just looks a bit too heavy and it really looks the wrong colour. So yeah. it looks more like you just painted it on rather than actual dust. Yeah. So let's take it all off and let it do it again. Let it dry, let it dry for a second time and it yeah. might look different again. Well, this is it. You can build it up in multiple layers, can't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Layers. Thin coats. <laughs> multiple Two thin coats. Thin coats. Two thin coats. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised. What? Remember when I was building this and there was a tiny, tiny lizard? Yeah. It's all the way in there that I'm never going to be able to get anywhere near. It's like, oh, fudge. Steph Stefan lasts off to bed, so good night to you. You take care, take care Stefan, Stefan, mate. Lovely to yeah. see you, mate. I hope yeah, your recovery you carries on. Good doing well, mate. Yeah. Nice to have you back. <clears throat> good night, Stefan. Yeah, we've missed him. He's a good lad. That was a whine or a sigh of foxiness there, if ever I've heard one. Well, it was like a hmm, not quite what I envisioned, but it's looking all right. Not not going to plan, dear. No, it's sort of working. It's just not quite how I. It's not as smooth as I thought. But then I haven't actually finished yet, so. It's very early days, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's a few coats that that's going to need, isn't it? So. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Many things to do yet. That's why I've just based me figures. It's like many, many blends to go yet. <clears throat> Blend. Like I say, whilst they join, just move around and paint other stuff, can't you? So. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Well, we'll let that sit for a bit. It'll come good. It will come good. That is a stick. Right. Are you working you tomorrow, to Ted? I'm back at work tomorrow, yeah. Um, okay, we'll come off at me? half past then, mate, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, fine. Is that all right with you, mate? Because obviously I'm mindful it's a school night for you. Yeah, it'll be fine, thanks. Yeah, I'll hang on till then. Not a problem, mate. We'll do that. <coughs> Sweet tea. Don't want to make you late oh. for work, mate, or affect that because, you know. Uh, there's not many more of them. I know, mate. Let's have a look at the chat while I'm waiting. Uh... Did it LWM model? Say that again with actual words. LWM says, watching one of my three monitors, Facebook, and my own channel on the other two. Happy days. Uh, Jeff is watching on a monitor. Uh, Bobbin's already said he's watching on a tablet. Uh, Steve says, because I'm doing a refresh on the PC, I've just bought a new monitor for it. It's 240 hertz, 1440. Oh, nice. Mm. I minute mean, he's watching the show. Oh, I've done that one. Uh, I usually watch on my computer, says Stefan, but now I'm in bed watching on my phone. So it would uh, seem it would seem then that generally folks are watching us on a PC or something bigger yeah. than a yeah, bigger portable than a device. Phone. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> uh, Rabbit says he's watching on PC, fourteen forty p, but YouTube. Oh, we done that one already. Yeah. Uh, LWM says you upgraded from sixteen gig RAM to thirty two, but didn't really notice any difference at all. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. 
only difference I noticed when I did that was rendering uh, videos. Yeah. Because obviously, yeah. you know, that had a decent graphics card. It, it, yeah. Yeah, rendering one of those things that just takes so long, even on a good system. Which is what I'm saying. If you know, if I did if I did 4K videos, it'd take me an hour and a half, two hours to render any video. So, which isn't a long time, really, when you think about it. Well, I mean, it takes normally like half an hour, forty minutes. It's four, it's it's time I could I could minimise. There's no, you yeah, know, not for painting stuff. There's no benefit to that extra time doing it in 4K. Not to me anyway. <clears throat> But I need to let that over there. We'll do what one. we got. What have we got? What have we got? Black Templar. Churnage. Black Templar. If we're going at half past, I won't start that next step then. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's only fair I don't want to keep Ted late. It's not fair on Ted. No. In that case, I shall, I shall pick at those bits of paint. Try this. Oh, la, 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 la. Hint, hint, got a premiere on my channel at 10.30, says LB. Oh, I saw what you did there. I'll try and remember in the next couple of days to uh, post a picture of my uh, Warhammer on yeah, um, it's looking my good, Facebook mate. page. <clears throat> yep. End of the day, mate. Looking good. But I say mm. for me, it's just nice to see you at the bench. It's nice to have you on, mate. Yeah. The other says we listen to his inane drivel. <laughs> Oi! I resemble that remark. <laughs> Could be a bit, mate. Cowbag. Months Cowbag. and months of pent up anger. Wait, Ow. Yeah. Could you tell? <laughs> I've now decided Mama Wolf said that Ted was a favourite. Oh, weeble kids, <laughs> that is it. Oh. Oh. Right, where's my pin? I've lost my pin. Show pin. me on the dolly where the horrible fest have got you. <laughs> Pleasure. All this abuse. He loves it, really. He thrives on it. All right, let's get a bit of steel on the churns. Today's challenge, grabbing a tiny pin from a nest of magnets. That's going to be interesting. Oh dear, that's going to go well for you. Oop. Spider pig. Well, I just can't, it's kind of stuck on the side of the magnets and I can't grip it. <laughs> yeah, get off. There we go. Thank you. Blimey. That was hard work. Ugh. <laughs> A tiny little, tiny little churnage. Churn. I like churns. Churn again, Dick Whittington. You see what I did there? I did. Almost worth it. Uh. Yeah. Mm. We can have various washes put on them once they've gone off. Uh, oops, clock. Uh. <coughs> well, we've got everything happening tonight, even paint chips now. Oh, wow. <coughs> mm. Go for it, Ted. Go Steal for it, it mate. Ted. Go for it. Yeah. Uh. Of course, I had to get some of the dry brush paint in some of the finest detail where you can't afford to have clogging. <laughs> yeah, it's always the way, mate, isn't it? I didn't get it in some of the raw stonework. I got it in all the fine jade glyphs. Yeah. <coughs> Bits of that. Clean them afterwards. Let's close the wet palette up. Get rid of that mm -hmm. out of the way. Let's 
understand the brush. to clean this off I think. What's that mate? This paint I got gunked into all the fine detail. Oh dear. Just little bits. Or go and paint tongue is it? <laughs> no I'll clean it. It's just where I, where I was dry brushing and I got some paint on my thumb from the silly pot and I got a big thumbprint on there like that. Oh, <laughs> it's got into some glyph detail. Uh, craft, crafting with Jacqueline says she is watching on the big TV with Kevin. Happy days. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to watch a bit of YouTube on the big TV overnight. Now, 90% of the time I'll watch it on my tablet. Yeah, I tend to... I've Can't got like the big the tele... Phone. No, I can't watch on my phone. It's far too small. I tend to, uh, I've got a big telly right next to my computer, but I tend to watch on the computer. Yeah. I don't know why. Because the big telly kind of goes through my surround system, and if it's late at night, I can't really have that on. So. Yeah, see, so I'm lucky because, like I say, Lex is asleep. He's at the other end of the house from the lounge, so yeah. H is out. So, uh, and I have one of them loops that I can wear around my neck, so. Oh, jolly good. Irenades will pick it up then, so I can just amp it right up. <coughs> I feel like a... Uh, no, my hear, just my out, hearing like. is... Um, my hearing has just deteriorated yeah. tremendously. Really become a bit of an embarrassment now sometimes. Uh, yeah, do you do what I do where you'll blurt something out thinking that's what someone said and it's totally irrelevant to the conversation they're having with you and you're like, awkward moment. Yeah, yeah. or do you find yourself making up the bits that you can't hear? Well, yeah, because you don't want to ask people to keep repeating themselves because it gets embarrassing. So you just assume that's what they've said. So you put this sentence together in your head and yeah. you're like, yeah. And then the room goes deathly silent as they're like, well, I'll see you on about. Well, my wife yeah. does that sometimes. You'll, you'll say yeah. something to her and she'll reply. Or, but she'll reply or you, to... you, you spend a bit of a time sort of trying to formulate in your head what they've said. So they ask you, hey, Colin, did you do such and such? And you think, yeah. you don't answer straight away. You try to think, yeah. what, what did he say? Yeah. It's very frustrating. I'm, I'm lucky that I've got a very understanding wife and kids. But in the real world now, I struggle. Um, but it's some of the things you come back with, and the Helen will look at me, especially if I'm mulling it, she'll go, please tell me what it is you think we said. And I'll just blurt it out, and she's like, <laughs> really? I went, yeah, why? She said, nah, we're not even on about that, mate. I'm like, okay. <laughs> she normally can tell when they, if I don't respond imminently, she knows I've either not heard properly or totally misheard what they're on about. Yeah. So she, know, she yeah. knows there's extra processing going on. Yeah, I politely just don't say anything, and then she'll prompt me, and I'll go, what did you just say? Only I'm thinking this. And she, once she's got up off the floor laughing, she's like, yeah, I can see how you might have misheard that, mate, but no. <laughs> Uh, Steve, Steve leaving, saying good night. Good night to you, Steve. No, we'll be, yeah, uh, I'll be leaving myself. Care, Steve, <laughs> mate, we're literally going to go round the big screens in a sec and show off mm -hmm. what everyone's done, and then we'll be going ourselves, mate, because I'm mindful that it's a school day for Professor Ted, and I don't want yeah. uh, him not getting his beauty sleep. Bless him. Go and sort uh, my wolf out as well. Whilst you're doing that, and I do me full screen and just show myself for a minute, and then I'll work me way round you all. Right. Mm -hmm. First up, I started with the decaling of the barrels. That's had a bit of lack of fitter on there to get it all the way down into the wood grain. Let's just get a handprint up. Think. There you go. That made no difference whatsoever. So we done them. Uh, I've done a little bit more weathering on the barrels, uh, the barrels, the barrels even. 
little bit of worn paint effect going on. So we've done that in the crates. I can then paint all the meat then to go in. We've got the butcher, the big burly butcher with his leather apron and his moustache going up. So he's had his base layers done now. I'm going to leave his apron alone because I don't want to overdo that. It's got I like little, the shading on the apron. That's yeah, it's got nice. a little bit of shading on there. So he's looking nice. quite happy. We've got Ted and his milk crate. That's our Ted there with his moustache. Hey, Ted, there you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've got a bit of that going on. I've got to uh, then paint this guy up. He's had his base layers on. I need to now go around do all the creases and then start painting the, the meat inside. We got Bob Oskins going on. A bit more needs doing on him. I've been round and redone his dungarees with another layer. Very nice. Uh, we got the churn bloke. He's ready to have his churns put on once they're dry. Let's just try and get the camera to catch. He's exceptionally. He's got. He's exceptionally happy to be carrying his churns. Yeah. In his face. So uh, he's going to be all right. And then we've got the other guy that's going to be tilting a barrel. I've started with his shirt. Uh, and these jeans, I've then got to do his apron and his beret and all of that lot. A couple of the other churns I've painted in different colours because I don't want them all silver, because why not? Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all I've done, really. Not a massive amount there, but it's a start. Yeah. Uh, next, up got, next up, we've got the skipper. Hey, get on, oh. mate. Right, um, what I did before I came along, can you see this? Is it in focus? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... I've got you on the bigly screen as well, mate. Mm, let's try and keep it in focus. What I did before we came on, I uh, washed this part in a mud, and yeah. you can see how it's. So I'm starting to clean, it's been cleaned off. It does look a lot better in real life than I can uh, see yeah. on my screen. I did that side <coughs> as well, which dried off easily. Yeah. But, Quick enough. Let's see. Even started with some chipping. It's looking in, mint, mate. In, in there yeah. as well. The top. I did that. I did that wash in concrete. It hasn't worked as I thought it would. Mm -hmm. But I think with a little bit more cleaning up, it might not look as stark as it, as it does. Was mixing in a different pigment with the concrete knock it back a bit for you, Tim? Yeah, I think that's what I plan to do. I'll clean off as much as I can. It's, yeah. it's, he's, he's fallen out. Um, yeah, it's it's cleaning up quite well. It, it is yeah. actually coming back to what I imagined it to be. Yeah. But it needs a little bit more work. Uh, mm. But otherwise, yeah, I've done... Yeah, it's, it's good to get it off the shelf again. And... Do a little bit. Yeah, um, it was becoming a shelf queen, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. it become that way. So we cleaned it all up. And nice one. Put the dust off. And yeah, this, as we said, as I said right at the start with the bane blades, you can go on to the, you can go on with these things forever and a day. There's all, you can always do something else to it. Exactly um, that, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it probably isn't a, an actual bane blade colour. I don't think I think it was just something I decided to paint red, but it's working quite well. Doesn't matter it's, whether it is or not. It's your model, you paint it however yeah. you choose, my man. Yeah. Who cares? But yeah, exactly. that's classic. That, fancy. That's what we've done tonight. Lots of um, washes, lots of Q-tips, um, and pencils and things like that. Loads Absolutely. To do Mission M is in saying hello from Germany. Hello, Mission M. How yeah, are you Mission doing? M. Hello. Lovely to see you, to see your loveliness. And we'll just put the guru on the full screen there. Think. There you go. Go on, mate. Uh, not done a lot tonight. I have uh, started work on the the circular bits, whatever you call these, the circles, the, the rings. Uh, dry brush them with some uh, iron rack skin and then giving them a wash of Athonian camera just to green them up. But I still need to go in now and do all the dark areas because they're going to go from light to dark. So that'll start off like there will be light and then it'll go dark. That'll be light to dark. And it'll vary as it goes along. So I need to do the dark stuff to bring that down. Yeah, gradient. Uh, yeah, yeah like, a, like a gradient. Um, and then I've got some wash on the throne as well. But there's that's it's like that's all I've done so far. It's, it's just a slow process getting around because it's all dry brushing. So yeah. it wasn't a quick process to do that. But that's uh, baby steps, basically. Exactly. That's what it's about, mate. Mm -hmm. So there you go, folks. 
it's been a breeze to have you on set. It's been an absolute pleasure, yeah. mate. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself here. Yeah, you know, like I said, you've got an open invite, mate. You don't have to come in every week. If you can't make it, you can't make it. So don't don't feel yep. obligated, but just ping us just ping us that you're interested and I'll bat you over the link. You can come on as and when you choose, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just yes, turn up out of the blue. Ooh, Ted. Well, Ted uh, did. Jeff says, I remember when Ted cut the circles of styrene for the barrel ends. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You've got to do yeah. it because, yeah, it's nothing worse than a big seam, is there, on the barrels. Yeah, it does have heads in. Yeah. So, yeah, well, there you go. The... Hmm. So, yeah, folks, we'll on. love and leave you. Uh, me yep. and Fox will be back for our normal Friday frolic on Friday. So we Certainly look forward to seeing you then. And don't forget, I'm off on Sunday because it's Easter. So I'm taking the day yes. off. So I'll be chatting to me boy and no doubt digging out the Xbox. So, yes. Are you doing any? Are you doing a show on Monday or are you taking uh, Yeah, I'll be doing a show Monday night with a bit <clears throat> more on the tank, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I shall stream bank on the Monday. Cool. So uh, that will be on this channel for e-models. And I'll be... Oh, no idea what I'll be doing, to be honest with you, mate. Um, it's all primed and ready now. So we'll see. We'll see what goes mm. on Monday. It's a surprise is the good thing. Oh, yeah. I might build, might build the plastic figure that came in the box. Uh, and yeah, start a bit of uh, detailing. So yeah, cool. Okay, then, folks, we'll love and leave you. Thank you all for coming in and keeping the three of us company. Yep. Remember, head over to ebottles.co.uk, your one stop shop for all your model making needs. Uh, say hi to the guys and uh, yeah, slap it in your basket. Until the next time, bye bye for now. Bye. Adios, amigos. Bye.